For several years, I taught interpersonal communications at the college level. And as an instructor, I would receive books written by important authors and communication experts trying to sell their instruction in this area. I received them because they wanted me to recommend and require my students to purchase them. And do you know what I found interesting? What these top PhDs and communication specialists said was the number one interpersonal skill. Listening. Yes, listening. That's because effective sales communications is the art of managing perceptions. What a salesperson says and what those they speak to perceive as true. And for salespeople, this means that their products and services are purchased by someone who sees them as right for what they want or need. Which means that salespeople and fathers, mothers, wives, husbands, everyone who interacts with other human beings must talk and they must listen. With listening, most often preceding talking. Welcome to today's CTS Sales Profile Solutions topic, how to coach people to increase their sales by listening, which for those with low compassion scores happens more often than with others, although it's a big problem for most of us. To listen with sincerity has at least seven benefits. First, it begins and it strengthens relationships, and people think you value what they say, what they believe, and what they want. And it strengthens the solutions we propose because it allows us to customize them to what a person wants. It eliminates concerns and fears by allowing people to voice them and make them known to someone who listens without judgment. It makes communications clear between a customer and a salesperson because salespeople understand if they are being heard and if what they recommend addresses a person's desires. Next, it increases the quality of a sale or a service moment because the person in sales or customer service better understands what a person wants or needs before they present, advise, or recommend a product or solution. And then it decreases stress and tension in others because they can vent the emotions and frustrations they feel to someone they think cares. Listening helps to gain agreement between people because the issues in the way can be understood by both parties and a win-win solution developed. Now, it's obvious when you think about it, listening is the number one face-to-face -face interpersonal skill for anyone who wants to communicate at the highest levels. And of course, that means salespeople. But here's the problem. No one listens to anyone anymore. Seldom do we experience anyone in our lives who is willing to listen to us for any length of time. And there are three reasons why. It wasn't modeled in our early years as children and young adults. We were not exposed to people who listened to others, who listened to us. We developed a coping strategy with life that made us selfish and self-centered with a tendency to talk or persuade and not listen. And it's difficult to listen because we think several times faster than we talk. So as anyone, say a potential customer talks, we tend to think about something else, perhaps what we want to say next, instead of really hearing not just the facts, but how they feel. And over time, our poor attention and listening habits becomes a habit. We've not worked on it as the important interpersonal skill area that it is, and it is not a habit that we have formed well. So we have shallow relationships, unresolved problems between ourselves and others, misunderstandings, product pitches with no relevance to people's real lives and needs, low trust, and missed sales. And here's what Ralph Nichols and Leonard Stevens said in their article, Listening to People. High pressure selling is rapidly giving way to low pressure methods in the marketing of industrial and consumer goods. Today, successful salespeople are likely to center their attention on the customer problem approach of selling. To put this approach to work, the skill of listening becomes an essential tool for the salesman, while his vocal agility becomes less important. How a salesperson talks turns out to be relatively unimportant because what he says, when it is guided by his listening, gives power to the spoken word. In other words, the salesperson's listening becomes an on-the-spot form of customer research that can be immediately put into work in formulating any sales talk. Now let's jump to how to coach salespeople to listen their way to great sales. First, you must develop the typical eight to 12 questions for salespeople to ask prospects 
during your sales process. What are they? We developed these for hundreds of companies in many different industries. Eight to 12 open-ended questions that start with who, what, where, why, how, describe or tell. Questions that when asked by your salespeople will help potential customers discuss what they want or need or the problem they are trying to solve. This will be their most important sales tool for face-to-face -face or telephone sales. The top eight to 12 typical open-ended questions to ask when talking with a prospect. With these, you can coach the following eight actions that will lead to great sales and new customers. Number one, to transition from the initial report building between a rep and a potential customer, find the right time to ask permission to ask questions and teach salespeople to transition to a listen step in the sales process by saying, may I ask you a few questions to see how we can best help you? And in the beginning to actually have the top eight to 12 questions with them to ask and then to teach them to listen 80% of the time and talk 20% of the time. As they ask these questions designed to understand the wants or needs or problems to be addressed with a new customer. And then take notes and write down the key words that the customer uses to explain their needs and wants. And then have the rep be sure to show they are listening through their facial expressions, their nods, grimaces, verbal uh-huhs, wows, empathic, really? To show I'm present and I'm listening and help the rep learn to explore their answers with other questions that help both them and the prospect better understand the prospect's wants, needs, and problems with clarity. And number six, as they ask questions and listen, they also need to remember to continue to adjust to the pace and tone and the brevity wanted by the customer and their personality. For example, for dynamos or diplomats. Another tip is to teach reps to ask about the impact of the most important needs and problems that the prospect tells them about. What frustrates you most about or how much do you think cost you? And finally, teach them that before presenting a product or service to summarize their situation, the needs, and the impact with a word picture. What I hear you saying is, coach these actions before the sale and after a sale. Also let salespeople see you in action as well. So remember to develop your eight to 12 open-ended questions as a crucial tool for your sales process. Give out copies and have salespeople use these and take notes on them when asking questions as they carry them on appointments. It's okay, actually it's just perfect if they read the question from the list until they memorize them. They will look like professionals because they will be prepared to listen well to others before presenting to them. And they will make a lot more sales and make a lot more money from satisfied and loyal new customers who love them and their company and their products and services now and in the future. Some personalities have a harder time really hearing what others say, especially dynamo types with low compassion scores. However, all of us can benefit from making these skills a part of our interpersonal style with our families and in business. We will make more money and build stronger relationships if we remember two wise proverbs. If one gives an answer before he hears, it is to his folly and shame. A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. We hope you do well recruiting and coaching the very best salespeople in the world. And as always, we believe that you can be better and you have what it takes.